Hey guys, it's your boy D Blitz here with another game plan. Today we're playing some more Man of Madonna. We're, we're just picking up from right where we left off, so let's get into it. And we're already starting to dive. Oh, there's a shark. That's a great indication. One of my biggest fears is heights, and then actually probably my biggest fear is depths. I don't do the ocean. I would never ever go diving, that's for sure. I don't like sharks. I, I just... My biggest fear is me to be swimming and I look down below me like into the ocean and a giant like well just opens its mouth and just tries to swallow me whole that my heart would stop before it swallowed me most likely but that's probably my biggest fear let's swim around a little and find a way in yes everything's all kosher up top howdy captain you fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Um. I want to say pass, I need to pass. focus. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long, long story. story. It's complicated. But, well, yeah, we really definitely want to keep an eye on our friends in case anything Try happens while we're down there. At least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Well, that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Relation. I don't know what changed, but... See, that's why I said we needed to focus, because if she was just chilling, I'm sure that wouldn't have gone as well. well it looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it looks like a hurricane's a brewing. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. It's getting mighty crowded out here, and there's literally one dot. Let's can we go down the stairs? Can we talk to Brad? Hi. Hey, you okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Yes, okay. Are you close with your brother? Are you curious. close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. All right, traits updated. What's this? That's very shiny. Oh, what is this? Is this a premonition? Oh, it is. Why do what? I keep these around? Cut and run. What is this? Isn't this the one we had earlier? Yeah, it's not even doing a premonition. Alright. I guess I'll go ahead and get back up here. Okay, LB still does a fast walk. A, what's this? Binoculars? Let's see if we can see anything. Nothing over there. I don't see a nada. Okay. Well, what else are we supposed? Oh, 
Wait, what was this? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Well, hopefully they're all right. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns. Oh yeah, she didn't get to see the pictures earlier. Okay. Well, what else do we do? I guess we can talk to him, Mr. Cool Man. All right, come on. C can I? Thank hey you. How's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Too bad, charge. Charm is so. Uh, are you beached? Curious. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Amused. Romantic amused. <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you later. He's a smooth man. Traits updated. Well, what else? Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? Yes. So what am I supposed to do? Is there something over here I need to look at? Oh, no, that's her ID. Hopefully she would know what her own ID looks like. I guess let's take a look with the binoculars again. Oh wow. Oh. What's Some that fellow party people. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Quiet. Be quiet, let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Oh, yeah. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Yeah, come on now. Use some common sense. Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Why would you throw money? Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. What a retard. That would make me that 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 guy looks like he's about to stab that guy with a fork. If someone was throwing money at me, I'd just... I mean, I'd take it, but, you know. He probably feels very disrespected at that point. Uh-oh. If this ship crashed in World War II, I mean, you can tell by the skeleton, but I feel like there wouldn't even be skeletons. Conrad said one of the pictures but, showed an opening. Conrad, really? Especially being really? underwater and the rear turret. all that oh. stuff, but maybe I don't know anything about bones, you know? The turret, we can get in through there. Oh, goodness gracious. Even with a rebreather and a year and a half oxygen tank and the best sky scuba gear, I would not be. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I almost got shanked. 
could be dangerous. I need to quit uh, talking and first? pay attention. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can well, you what believe is that? that? It's a dream come true. Hey. Let's not waste any time oh. not exploring. Go, go. Oh, what? She's having a heart attack. Huh, she's having a heart attack or something. What is that? Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Live a little. Why not? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. That's the dumbest thing you could ever do. I mean, I kind of told her to, but... I mean, you couldn't... Relation. You, could, you couldn't pay me enough to take off my rebreather. See, that's what happens. Oh! Oh, that scared me. I thought a freaking shark or an alien or something was about to get her. Ooh. Oh no. She's out at sea without a rebreather. Oh, well, never mind. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that Define. I know what I'm doing okay I don't need a lifeguard yeah you tell clear clear this says it was a rescue plane launched from a US base oh, okay they were on their way to help out a ship oh oh it might be that ship that uh everybody went crazy on. What's this? A bullet? Secret bullet found. Holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Yeah, he is. I mean a bullet in an aircraft means Probably got shot at. That's probably why it went Check down. It they reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Secret Let's missing heart boat. Can find. Yeah, man. What does that mean? That somebody might have survived? Oh, yeah, that guy's very dead. I guess let's touch him, why not? Hello, sir, how are you? Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. He's holding something. What is that? It looks like a picture of his wife or something. Wow. What the hell happened here? The look at things. They knew they were goners. Okie dokie. Let's continue on. What is this? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Oh, the boomstick. I wonder what would have happened if we wouldn't have brought that. Huh. More dead guys. A pistol. Oh, I want the pistol. Can, can I go? Can I go forward? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I think I went my wetsuit. Jump scares in this game, let me tell you. I love wearing out those jump scares. I wasn't expecting that. And co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. 
Looks like he shot himself in the head or something. Can I? Hello, sir. How you doing? Ooh. Oh, don't Easy you now. dare. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you mess with that woman? Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Good gracious. What will happen? What's happening? Uh oh. We gotta get out of here now! Nope, that's why, I, nope, nope, shark? that's why I don't do diving. Oh, there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Well, I'm glad you know that. But I wonder, okay, so that boat that ran over the diving thing, that's probably what caused that. Uh, oh, okay. Because it jerked. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Huh. Amused. Paranoid. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've it's really smooth, got to get up top. Alex. Smooth. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, there goes that boat. Where did the boat come from? I guess I got mad that I threw money at him. Wait. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Decompress? Oh my what? gosh. Yeah. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, cautious. Yeah, Because yeah, okay. from what I understand, I yeah, would never right. do diving. But when you go down uh, towards the bottom of the ocean, oh gosh, uh, all the pressure. Yeah, all the Just pressure like uh, from the okay, now. Go, go. water, if you try to go up to the surface too quickly, it can kill you. Hey, so, I, at least I know about that, but happy. still, I'd never go diving. Cool, man. Everything's all right now. So, they didn't take the money, and then they burnt little, dinner. Uh, it's what With happens when you drink. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Uh, it's not like it was our fault. Blame the guys who uh, ran over the dive lawn. Oh, Mr. Man. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Yeah, yeah, or maybe you could say that. Say arrogant. Yeah, arrogant and, and more like Captain it. Yeah. Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Yes. She appears somewhat 
immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you. Special you feature unlocked. Make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Hey, I'm glad I know. Nobody's died yet, so. And I'm wondering how far in the future those premonitions go. Uh, like we saw Brad standing up for off the floor. Brad, it was insane. It was like so I wonder how like far in advance those are. And we saw what looked like one of the boat guys who had a pistol. So I wonder if they're gonna come back. It was a gray reef. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, oh he yes. Found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. Since this I is such a big boat. If you want to check it out. Hey there. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry. Uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? What an experience. I expected it to be cool, but that was that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? What do you mean, huh? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. You're staring off into the ocean like a zombie, and now you're all grumbly. Uh, I'm sorry. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. About us. Uh-huh. Some stuff we gotta deal with. Uncertain. Content. Look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Got it. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad. Fliss. Okay. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. How do Boy, how did you get distracted? Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Disapproving. Frustrated. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Of course you are. Let's see what the relationship looked like. Selfish and foolhardy. That's exactly how Julia is. Foolish. <laughs> All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You it's in right? your case. Oh, okay, I'll go get it. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Well, wait, what was that? A bullet? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was that bullet we found. Gotta put it back in exactly the way I found it. Where is her case? Is it back here or something? Is it in here? Is this her case? Oh yeah, well there's that. Whoa. Is this what I think it is? She has very slow movements. Ho, 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 ho. 
I don't think I was supposed to find that. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. Ooh. We should get back. Right here. He was meaning to propose. Huh. That's why he looked so crushed when she said, uh, we just got some stuff to deal with. <laughs> You'll get Brad's the one that there. never drinks. All right, everyone. Smart guy. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Ooh. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Well. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Nobody knows. Okay, maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about <laughs> it like anything. Well, I've never thought about I've it never like heard that. about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Relation. See, I'm yeah, trying to... Story. I was going to go with the other right, option, good, but I'm trying right. to keep all of them use a good show. in good relations. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true, and it happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse uh -huh. stood atop an atoll, lighthouse. isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a uh -huh. sailor's respite. Uh -huh. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top yeah, of the lighthouse. Hysterical. And there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always Ooh. an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Yes. He's reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Giblets. So gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's uh, why of course I he's hiding in the closet. Marriage. So the he's been in the closet for years. The closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. Oh, and then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so 
Man, this hey, game's gotta quit with that crap. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story. Cool story, yeah. You have me going. It's pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. We get out. And it's got a good uh, ambient okay. setting in the background, You've the thunder and lightning. We should all turn in but normally people's face don't do that. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. Yeah, there, there's lightning everywhere, and they're on the only metal boat in the middle of the ocean. That'll end well. Well, guys, before this episode gets too lengthy, I think I'm going to end it here before it gets any better. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>